find a polynomial of least possible degree having the graph shown. So what they want us to do here is to write a polynomial given the graph. We're going to use all the information we've learned so far about polynomials starting with in behavior. The fact that we have an S-shaped graph that tells us that this is an odd degree polynomial. I also see that we have three zeros, one, two, three, remember zeros, aka x intercepts. Uh, so again, with all that information so far, we can conclude that this is a polynomial function that's an odd degree, and therefore the least possible odd degree is three. Next, we wanna write our zeros as linear factors. When you write it as linear factors, recall you're putting it in the form of x minus. All right, so if we have negative two and we plug that in, we're gonna get x plus two. A zero of four, to write it in that form, it would be x minus four. And a zero of six would be x minus six. And now that we have our zeros, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna identify the value of a because this graph here, uh, notice that it is not the parent function. Uh, so you can tell that there's been some uh, stretching or compression that uh, has taken place. So to find the value of a, recall we uh, did this once before where you were given an order pair and you had to plug that order pair in to find the value of a. But since you were not given an order pair, what you'll do is take one from the graph. You can use any point from the graph, but you can't use the x-intercepts because you already have them there in your uh, linear factored form. So taking a point other than the x-intercept, I'm going to take this point 0, 24, uh, 0 for x, and a 24 for y. So to plug that in, I'm going to remove the f of x because f of x is the same thing as y and replace it with a 24. Remove all these x's and replace them with a 0. We're going to go ahead and do the math to the right. We're going to multiply those numbers and that's going to give me 48a. Last step to solving this is to divide by 48 and a equals 1 half. And putting it all together, this is our polynomial function.